friends this is my one and the first video on the series of videos called laws of universe in this video we will discuss on the laws of universe that were previously shown in universe episodes or and other also some extra laws the first law that we will see here is kepler's laws of planetary momentum planetary momentum oh, sorry motion it's momentum motion he shares three laws for the planetary motions and the first one is yeah a planet revolves around its parent star in an elliptical 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 orbit so let's take here sun it's sun try to understand this law by this illustration it's sun and here a planet planet now a planet revolves in an elliptical orbit around its parent planet or sun sun is the name of parent planet of our, sorry planet parent star of our solar system in this elliptical orbit it has two focus at first at first focus sun lies and other focus remains where nothing exist and uh, this is the shortest point where the planet moves faster called perihelion and uh, the this is the most distant point from the parent planet where planets move slowest called the aphelion as uh, kepler stated that the nearer the planet to the parent planet miss star will uh, move faster and the farther it moves slower the second law it states that the area joining planet to sun is equal in sorry sun in equal interval of time is equal this law is also known as equal area law now take this planet it is position b and its position a it starts from here position a and to their position b and the uh, two imaginary lines join the planet to the sun and now again the two imaginary lines then the area of these two segments of circle or uh, elliptical will be same area 1 equal to area 2 and its uh, formula is area of segment equal to pi r square theta by 360 so this is the second law of kepler now the third law third law is stated that the ratio of time taken square and uh, radius here radius means the distance from the sun distance from sun and uh, the square and radius cube of uh, two planets any two planets are equal so uh, this is the formula for his law t1 by t2 equal sorry t1 square by t2 square equal r1 cube by r2 cube and the value of this is called kepler's constant now take a look on earth's kepler's constant it takes 365 days to complete one revolution it is time and its distance is around 1.49 into 10 to the power 11 meter its distance and it T square by R cube equal 365 whole square by 1.49 into 10 to the power 11 meter cube is equal to 1 lakh 33,225 days by 3.31 into 10 to the power 33 meter. 
on evaluating this we get the the answer about 4.03 into 10 to the power 29 it's a capillary constant and it has no unit now take a relation or uh, now look at the relation of earth and mars here t1 square by t2 square r1 cube by r2 cube 365 earth takes 365 days to complete one revolution and uh, mars takes about uh, 684 days to complete one revolution its earth's distance is uh, 1.49 into 10 to the power 11 while uh, mars is about 2.27 into 10 to the power 11 the and we get uh, for earth 1,33,225 and for mars 4,67,856 and the radius is 3.31 into 10 to the power 33 for earth and 1.19 for into 10 to the power 34 for the mars its, uh, its value is about 5 by 20 or 0 0.28 so these are the laws of uh, Kepler for the these are the basic laws which he gives about the planetary motion keep interest in this astrophysics it's very interesting chapter and subject uh, thank you and please like and subscribe our channel and if you have any laws that you can't understand please mention that in the comment box i will explain that law in my next video thank you created with free version